Team CV Victor here with Celebrated Victories. Give you guys another video. And in today's video, what I'm going to talk about is um, reinstalling this ATM in this location. I had it here initially. COVID happened. Business shut down. Took the ATM out. When they opened it right back up, I ended up putting an ATM back here. I had to take that one out for reasons I'll discuss later in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching. guys so as I'm trying to put this ATM back on the anchors that are already here because I had this ATM in here before um, and then you know the incident happened where the owner was trying to renovate the ceiling at the time and the people that were doing the ceiling they destroyed all the merchandise by dropping tar so it's a big whole story I'll touch up on that later um, so I ended up removing the ATM during that time um, and just putting it in a new location that I actually found so now the intent was to bring this ATM back and put it over the anchors that I already had in place um, but unfortunately, as I'm trying to do that, and for me, when I do this process, um, when I'm anchoring the or drilling the holes, I like to do it deep just in case if I do have to remove an ATM, all I got to do is kind of hammer it in and it'll flush into the floor. It just makes it a lot easier and cleaner when you're removing an ATM. So I didn't anticipate that I was going to be moving the ATM. So now that I'm trying to put it back on the old anchors, unfortunately, I can't do that because now they're getting flushed into the ground because of the weight of the ATM. So I'm just going to have to have I'm just going to have to put new anchors in next to it and then put the ATM in with new anchors. So that's all. So this has this rug material. So with this rug material, it's a little bit challenging trying to, you know, identify where I'm gonna bolt down the ATM or where I'm gonna put the holes in. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of rip some of it out on the holes where I'm gonna put the anchors at. Um, and then at that point, I'll be able to kind of um, drill the holes a lot easier and match with the measurements that are needed. So I'm able to find a permanent marker. Um, I have a brown one, but the brown one's just hard to see with this type of material and it being brown. So with the black one, what I'm gonna do is just kind of paint on the rug itself and identify where I'm going to um, drill my holes. Makes it a lot easier. So make sure you guys have a black permanent marker when you're doing this. And I'm gonna make this black line here just as a reference point so that way when I'm lining it back up, it's a lot easier to line back up. Now that I have my holes marked in place, now I'm gonna move the ATM. And I can see my holes where I'm gonna actually drill. Get my drill. slide the ATM back over it, use my reference points to try to get the ATM exactly over the holes as best I can, and at that point we'll plug the anchors in. Alright you guys, so there you go, you see exactly how I bolt down the ATM. If you find this information helpful, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, 
Be sure to look out for the next video. Stay up, stay blessed, and much love. Talk to you guys later.